What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Pokemon. No, this is Ape Escape. <clears throat> we're back playing Ape Escape, like I meant to say earlier. So, uh, let's see. In the last episode, we did the Dark Ruins. And I think in this episode, I'm going to go back and clear some earlier levels, just because we can. I want to check on Fossil Field first. The very first level. So, I have a spectacular, wonderful announcement here for this episode. I have got my controllers working. It's pretty awesome. The result of this is that I can play with a proper dual analog controller. I'm actually playing with an original PlayStation controller, as the game was meant to be experienced. And let me tell you, it's pretty freaking sweet. I'm very happy about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, you get out of here. I think it's going to improve my gaming experience vastly. Alright, let's look at that one last day. Now, I don't know if we can actually can get him or not. Yeah, up there? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh... What does this mailbox say? Way over here. Cookies! Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no way we're getting up there. Alright, can I, uh... Let's leave. We got the Spectre Coin. That's good enough for now, I guess. Let's go to... Primordial Ooze! This is level number two. So I think we can get both of the other monkeys here. It's just that the first time through, you only have to get four, so... Didn't clear it the first time. So I, I'm pretty stoked about the fact that I have this on a real... Ex a real PlayStation controller from back in the day. I was thinking about it, and this controller must be... at least 12 years old, if not... I guess older. I'm trying to figure out what year this game came out. I think it was like 98. Yeah, here he is. It's Loch Ness over here. Oh, Nessie, come back! Hey, weren't you in Super Mario 64? This, this uh, monsters. It's like a, it sounds like a cat almost. Okay. This monster got featured in several video games back in the day. So I'm starting to think about it. This game came out in 98, and I had my PlayStation before that. So what I hold in my hands is a 15-year-old controller that still works just fine. And we are catching monkeys like I never left. It is just freaking sweet. Hey there, monkey boy. <laughs> Good net right in the butt. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, I think for the next level, we have to get some more gadgets before we can full complete it. So I'm going to zip on onto the next level. You did it! <gasps> wow! I get a 100% complete message at the top, and Joy winks at us. Just adorable. So, as well as switching controllers, I also switched emulators. Because I found out online that the whole problem I was having with pushing straight forward, making me walk really slowly, was a problem that was limited to PSX fin. So I've switched to, look at that, 100% complete. I've switched to EPSXE, and uh, it's, the problem is gone. The, the two emulators both have their ups and downs, but this one overall seems to be better for this game. Look what I've got, a new gadget! Score! Check it out! Here is the slingback shooter. Just pull back and shoot. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next Okay, area. yeah, I, I know what you're going to say, Professor. The, it's the Sling Back Shooter. It's not a slingshot, it's a Sling Back Shooter. Oh, this works. Okay. Interesting. Am I doing it right? Yep. <laughs> Guess so, the door opened. Okay, now I got a L2 button. Press the L2 button to use your... Okay, target view. Okay. I go into first person mode, basically. Nice. Oh, and the hitbox is pretty large. L2 again to exit. Cool. I tell you, the control is vastly improved by the better controller. Three types of bullets. Normal bullets, flash bullets, guided bullets. When you have the slim pack shooter, you can change bullets by pushing the right stick. Only the normal bullets have an endless supply. Okay. Got it. So I can use... What are these? Heat seeking? Let's just see what that does. Whoa, hello. 
no, hang on. Can I? Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, there we go. You you have to hold back, and then it locks on, and then they go get them. That's cool. Oh, that one blows up. There's freaking out. Can I? How do I? Okay, L2. As I remember the controls to get out of that mode, it's the same as going in. Usually you can push B to exit that kind of stuff, but there's no B on this uh, controller, so it doesn't make sense for you to switch. I guess you could switch gadgets, that would make sense. Five monkeys. Alright. I noticed one thing this emulator does that the other one doesn't, is that it kind of hangs on the last frame of cutscenes every now and then. But it doesn't bother me unduly. Let's I'll take the improved gameplay over uh, anything else. It's like nothing behind me. I've played enough video games to know you want to start by looking behind you. If you focus on the monkeys, the enemy will get you. It's safer to get rid of the enemy first. Good advice, Professor. Let's see, there's a bridge and spinning wheels of death. Which way should we go? Oh man, who's going to try and get those little little uh, shards right there? Okay, we got to go to the item screen. Turns out if you push select, you go straight to it. We can... Okay, hello. How do I... Whoa! Oh, I'm hitting the ground in front of me. <laughs> Gonna take some practice to get... Oh, is that a... Those are, those are homing bolts that he just dropped. Okay. Okay, I see a pushable block, right? Gotta be. Oh, there's a button over there, too. Let's switch the button. I'm gonna try my sling back shooter on the monkey. Oh! I just woke him up. Aha! Right in my net. This looks like it can be opened. Maybe I have to shoot it. No? Alright. I don't know. What did the middle one do? Was that a, was it an explosive or something? Let me... Oh, it went right through. That's weird. Hmm. Do I want to go this way? The music in this level is weird. Oh, hello. Is there... I, is there a platform right down there? Oh! Tch, guess I'll find out! Yeah, alright. No big deal. Can I hit that switch? It looks like I'm aiming at it, but I'm not actually, apparently. Ah, oh, there's a bridge! So now we have a slingshot. And, oh, wait, those fire breathing? Wow, okay. What is this? Oh! Oh boy! What do I do with you? Yeah! Apparently, I just have to deflect them. That kind of stinks. Maybe I can shoot them when I'm. Let me. Eh. Oh, the controls. I have to remember. I have to remember the controls every time I want to use them. Okay, that didn't do much. All right. How do I? Maybe I'm meant to just avoid those guys. Okay, it looks like these buttons you have to go in a first-person mode, or your aim is too low. Let's go in here next. Oh, the little spiral didn't go down. Interesting. Oh, well, I like this weapon. This is cool. It's not too hard to use, either. You would think that with the way that the, the sword controls, the slingshot would be impossible, but it's actually pretty good. I like it. I like it. Oh, there's a monkey over there. You're thinking clicking the left stick will go into first person, but that's, that's not it at all. Come here, you. Then, ow! Aha. Come and get captured, monkey boy! Oh man, it looks like I'm, I've gotten way better at this game between videos. It's, it's not that, it's just like the controller is so much better. Man, not only is there not that crawling when I try and go straight forward problem anymore, but playing it on an, playing it on an actual controller just makes that much of a difference that it feels so much more natural to do all the- oh, don't lock me off the edge now, come on. It feels so much more natural to do all these things. Get out of here. Spike automatically turns and faces forward whenever you take the slingshot out. That's why it looks like he's turning sometimes. Okay, what is- oh, hello. Can I just- yeah, get out of here. What you got for me? Turn the camera, okay. Yeah, I, I know how to do that. What- why is this splashing? Oh, whoops. I don't want to hit the mailbox. Let's go around, I suppose blocked that way. Oh, I can shoot through these bars. I, was, I think I was supposed to have figured that out already. There we go. Monkey! Oh, missed. Where's he at? Where'd you 
you go? Where'd you go? Gotcha. All right. What's over here? I see. Oh, there's a spectre token up there. I'm not supposed to go all the way up there. Oh, look at that. He does walk kind of slow when you go exactly to the right, it looks like. That's a little weird. Huh. I'll replace one bug for another. So I figured out that the, the way that some of the... Oh, I know, I know what to do with this. The way that some of the timings work is a little bit tricky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore the professor and go straight for the monkey. Especially if he runs right away from the enemies, that's nice. Oh, I should have swung. Swing! Alright, let me... Let me do this then. Oh, missed. Aha! Come here, you. Aha! It's four out of five. Making good progress in this level. Do I want to go swimming? I wonder. Let's go swimming. Let's see where this takes us. Okay. More of the area back here. With some sparkly tokens. Hang on, let me see what this says. If you clear the stages, go to the save area to save your place. After what? What did it say? They're running around for an hour or two, yeah. Don't overdo it, says the game. Doesn't, don't, don't some of the Wii games do that to you? Tell you to take a break if you play for a while? Can I just hit you right out of the air? Yeah, I can. What is this? Oh! Whoa. It's like I can just smash it. Nice. Can I do this? Yeah. Way easier than using the slingshot. Alright, well, I finally feel like we have a full complement of abilities now that I can use the... Whoa, I'm gonna fall off the edge. I can use long range and short range weapons. It's pretty cool. Whew, barely made that. Okay. See, now I don't have to worry about this guy knocking me off when I try and run across. Now all I have to worry about is falling off. Ooh, I almost fell anyway. Look at those items just hovering down in the void down there. They don't mind that they're not on anything. Okay. Pushing L2 to go into first person mode is something I have to get used to, that's for sure. Alright, got it. With the extra life. Nice. Oh, there's a monkey up here too. I'm gonna go ahead and catch him. And we're done. Yes! Nice. That level took way less time than the others. I wonder if the slingshot will let us get any more monkeys in previous levels. Thank you, Joy. Now I'm in a predicament. Do I do I go into the next Oh Stadium I've attack! I've been waiting for this for a long time. This is just between you and me. Follow me. Smells like a boss battle. First to the goal wins. Well, I'm glad they explained it. Where's the goal? I'm going for it! Looks like there's a map down there, I gotta run! See? This would have been awful if I didn't have... Whoa! If I didn't have a controller that could run straight forward. Oh man. I gotta pick it up. Uh-oh. This other guy, what's his name? his name? He's got speed. Ooh, barely made that. Wow, he's really fast. Where is he? He's gone around the next corner already. Holy moly. Run! Here we go. Slide, slide, slide! I can still catch him. Here we go. I'll make it up under the water. I can definitely swim faster than him. Wow, he got a lo much longer jump than me, though. Taking the inside line! Watch out for this! Oh, spiky balls! Oh, Jesus. God, there's so many. How was I supposed to... No! I lost. Pathetic. Jake. That's his name. Jake wins. Jake with the evil red eyes. You're pretty good, but it's not over yet. Hey, I want a rematch, man. You can fly. It's not fair. You saw that? He was flying, man. 
Can I run back in and rematch him? Or do I have to play the level again? That'd be kind of weird. Let's see. That's probably just another level, right? Yeah. Dimension X! Let's do it. I want to rematch Jake. Throwing it down for real this time now that I know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for a long time. This is just between you and me. Alright. Well, Follow me. A little less talk and a lot more action, please. <laughs> that would be a great theme for an Alpine channel. A little less talk, a lot more action. I'm going for it! Now you have to remember not to push the left thumbstick forward too hard, or you'll uh, actually end up uh, crawling. And that's no good. Now the problem here is that Jake seems to have like a long jump going on, and I... That's, that's not me not knowing the controls. You, oh boy. Oh wow, you get the Mario-style burnt feet. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not me not knowing the controls, that's Jake having some kind of ability I don't have, which is weird. I wonder if that's faster or slower than just running. Alright, gotta get the inside line here. I definitely can outspeed him in the water, I know, that much is for sure. The problem is, if I jump in from too far back, I go way underwater. Alright, now I have to do is avoid the spiky balls of death. No problem. Yeah, I think I even did better than Jake's time last time. Yes! You can check that in the video for me. Although I guess Jake probably does the same thing every time, so of course I would have beaten him in the previous race if I had done that the first time. What do I get for this, though? Ooh! Spectre tokens. Five of them. I'll go up against you anytime you want. Uh, you want to do two out of three? <laughs> No, I think I've, I think I've definitely come ahead, came ahead in the end there. I even fell in the lava that time and I managed to beat him. So did I get a bunch of spectra tokens for that? I wonder. I wonder where I would even go to check. Let's let's look. That's the the mini game corners over here. Well, that might bring me up to ten. Maybe I can do the first mini game. Let's see. How many have I got? Not quite ten, it seems. Can I check on the screen here? Nine. Oh, I have nine. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's okay. I don't know if I have any more around that I could go get. I, I, my memory of this game is pretty limited. We've already reached the point where my knowledge as a kid is not helping me anymore. I know that there's more to come, because I remember things from later levels. But now the more I think about it, the more I think... Maybe I just remember the stuff from the inside of the billfold, like the, the stuff that, the, the CD sleeve. Because I was looking at the actual disc that I have here, and I, I, I remember some of the stuff that's in there, but I don't know if I ever really, really remember using it in-game, so maybe I never got it. And the memories I have of it are just based on uh, looking, at the, looking at the book when I was a kid, I don't know. 100% complete! Let's read the monkeys for primordial ooze. I think we already read some of them, but no big deal. Shay is just chillin'. Dr. Monk, I remember him wondering when lunch is. I think I said where lunch is last time, don't know why. Achu! His name is Achu! <laughs> what? <laughs> Afraid of dinosaurs. That's bad, because he's the one that's up on the island, right, right next to Nessie. Grunt, enjoying the view. Tyrone needs a bath. Whoa. Gort Gorniff. What does that sound? A little fuzzy there. Some of the audio might be a little weird. He sleeps underwater? What? Drowning monkeys. Got it. Yeah, the Thick Jungle has tons of monkeys that we could go back and get. We got one of the nasty ones, the guy over there with the sunglasses. I think you get a lot more of those later on. Yeah, and then see, there's only three left in that level we just did. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what level to go into next. Maybe somebody in the comments has more knowledge on it than I do. But anyway, that is enough for one episode. We had a nice little... We did a level and we had a nice little race with Spike. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time on Let's Play Ape Escape.